Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to calibrate and set up your dual end stops on your MPCNC. You start out by swapping out whatever tool you have in for the pen tool. You then need to make a big sheet of paper to write on. I made mine by taping together many smaller sheets of paper with masking tape. Now that we have our large sheet of paper, we need to secure it down to the spoil board such that it covers the entire work area. Next, we run a simple jog movement with the pen so that it traces the largest rectangle we can make onto the paper. After taking off the paper, we measure each side to ensure that our steps per millimeter are calibrated correctly and that our belts are tensioned properly. After that, we draw and measure a diagonal line from each corner of the rectangle. With the side measurements, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate how long each diagonal should be. I rounded my numbers up so that their average was the ideal value chalking the lack of symmetry up to measurement error. Right now, our machine is drawing a parallelogram, so we have to shift one of the sides over to make it a rectangle. Technically, this makes an arc and adjust the position of the corner in both X and Y. But since we're shifting the point a very small amount in the horizontal direction, the shift in the vertical direction is practically negligible. The next step is finding how much we have to adjust an end stop either manually or with software. To calculate this, we just find the average difference between the two diagonals and adjust the end stops by that much. If you have to move an end stop by 2 millimeters or more, you can physically move the end stop on the shorter diagonal towards the closest foot. Each tooth is on the belt is separated by 2 millimeters, so if you need to make a 4 millimeter adjustment, move the end stop over by two teeth in the direction of the closest foot. To make adjustments less than 2 millimeters, we need to create a zero offset in the software. The first thing we need to verify is that the short diagonal is going from the x2 to the y2 end stop. If it isn't, physically move the x2 or y2 end stop over by one tooth towards the closest foot as shown previously and use this equation to find the new offset distance you need. Now that the longer diagonal comes from the origin, we can use software like Ponderface or RepetierHost to interface with the machine and send the command m666x offset and store this value by using the m500 command. Alternatively, change this value in the configuration.h file in your firmware. Simply repeat these steps until your diagonals are the same length and you're drawing perfect rectangles. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Remember to leave a like and share this video, and have a spectacular day!